Nah, do you know what it is, T, right? It's like, it's not about having an opinion or a stance on something. It's more so having the ability to be confident about something that you're saying. Like, you're allowed to be wrong about something. And it's like, we're so weird because I feel like people are so scared of being wrong. Like, you know, if I was wrong about something, I would fully be like, oh, crap, I was wrong about this. Let me learn more about it. But people, like, literally will die on a sword for something that they need to be learning about. Like, there's people that, you know, the guy that did the, the paleo diet, carnivore diet thing? Mm. He he came out and said he was wrong about, wrong about it. And he was like, oh, there was more need to be done about it. The guy didn't die on his sword and say this was the only thing. He literally went and said, I forgot what the guy's name is now. It's going to bother me. I'm a doctor something. But he came out and said it. And do you know what? He owned it. I actually really respected that. I really appreciated um, him coming out and kind of, I mean, it wasn't so much that he was wrong about it, but he was just like, you know what? There's aspects of this that Mm. I um, wasn't aware of or I didn't fully consider. And now after going through it for, you know, however many years, I can now look back and look into it with more detail with the experiential side of things as opposed to just the scientific thing. Because as we know, Scientific studies are one thing, but experience and common sense also really matter in the equation. Um, And I really, really appreciated that because Mm. I you're so right in what you're saying about like people are terrified to be wrong. But equally, I understand why people are terrified to be wrong, because it is terrifying in today's society, because we just seem to have no room for like figuring things out or making mistakes or growing as a person and you know making you know doing things that maybe we regret and then growing and learning from it and doing better we just seem to have zero tolerance in society for that like everyone's just dying to instead of like focusing on you know our own learning and our our own expansion we're just waiting to kind of pick at someone for being wrong or saying something slightly out of toe or anything like that and it is terrifying it's scary to put yourself out there i mean yeah it is it is really scary putting yourself out there but the issue is like if we are wrong it's okay like it's fine like in like science if you are wrong you can't just beat the person down. You have to say, you know, explain, this is why you're wrong. This is what you need to do better. And like, don't get me wrong, even I'm terrified. I'm terrified of being wrong because as many of you know, I ain't an, I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a medical doctor. Right. I'm not a, a functional doctor. I don't do any of this training, but I understand research papers. I did, if you look at my like year eight, year nine, year 10 at school, I excelled in science. It was like, I just really enjoyed science, but I never pursued it as a career because I just didn't have the capacity to do it at that time. And my life changed in the ways, but I understand the papers. However, I have a stance on, not have a stance, but I actually, in some cases, I do have a stance on things like vitamin D and zeolites and things like that. But my stance is based on the research and, and my interpretation of what I've read. But I always say to people, if I'm wrong, tell me why I'm wrong or you know come and talk to me about it because I don't hide myself from anyone you can literally pick up the phone and give me a buzz and I will answer you and chat to you about it but if I'm wrong about something I'll be like oh oh crap it's another chance of learning I always always joke people I'm stupid and I say I'm stupid and you get really annoyed by this but what I mean by that is that I've got so much learning to do like my whole life is just learning how amazing is it to, to be like you should be excited that you're wrong but i think a lot of people are scared of becoming irrelevant it's being irrelevant because if you're wrong and you like like literally were standing by a sword and dying on that sword or whatever it was if you then are wrong about something or not even wrong if like it gets proved or disproved if we then feel like we lost our relevance that i think is more of a fear do you think that's why instead, you know, when when an approach to health or a piece of research or anything really is questioned, do you think that's why instead of kind of taking a step back and saying, oh, that's an interesting perspective, let's talk about this, let's hash it out and try and learn and explore, people tend to be much quicker to just dismiss you and kind of say, no, 
that's stupid, that's wrong, this is the fact, that's not the fact, you're not qualified in this, or you're not qualified to talk about this, or maybe you are qualified, but you're just plain wrong. I feel like that tends to be the reaction, and maybe that's the the reason why. But it's so sad and off-putting in a way, because our approach should always be to you know, learn and grow and work together to find the answers to innovate. But this whole idea of, you know, well, is it evidence based or is it not? Like it kind of defeats the the purpose and it creates a misunderstanding about what evidence base is anyway, because even scientific research like that, the whole, the way that works and the whole evolution of that is that it's fact until proven otherwise. Do you know what I mean? Like, if we look back at the history of, like, science or research, and by science and research, I mean, like, westernized, you know, um, standards for science and research, because it isn't, science and research isn't just that. There's so many other ways of doing it. But I'm talking about, you know, what's most highly quoted the way that works is that we run experiments, we make a discovery, we say, oh, A plus B equals C. But within the scientific community, that is that is still open for rediscussion if more evidence comes out. You know, that's only fact until it's been disproven. And there's so many cases where, you know, in history, we thought one thing and then as history went on, we learned more and we reassessed what we thought was fact and we changed that to a new fact. But it just seems like nowadays we're not allowed to have those discussions mm. and it's it's preventing us from, from growing and from improving and it's okay to have different opinions. Like my favorite thing is to talk to someone that I have different views, but someone that I might have different views from, but that's willing to have a conversation about it. That's the best way to grow and learn. Mm. Challenge me. If there's, cause if there's something I think like the way I think about health and well being, or even society as a whole, how I approach life has changed so many times and you've helped me in that because you know I can be a bit of a perfectionist and like wanting to get things right but actually having the ability to discuss and you know be willing to be wrong and make mistakes and learn actually helps you to grow much more quickly and get to where you want to be much more quickly and any you know successful person or you know all these videos that you watch about like how to be a successful CEO or how to be successful in this literally every single one of them says fail quickly Mm. so then why are we so scared of making mistakes well I I think like failure is because our peers will judge us Mm. I feel like we feel because we're going to be judged by other people but listen it doesn't matter what people think it's about what you think in yourself like how you feel within yourself because the failure is only failure if if it's internalized you feel like you failed if you're if you're wearing that failure as like oh i need to learn from this and by the way folks i have failed many times like i can i can and do you know what it's made me the man that I am today and the person that I am, but failure in friendships and relationships, in business, in how I live my personal life, like how I've like, you know, gone through certain aspects. But that failure is what allows that person to grow from it. But I think we we feel that judgment of other people and we're so scared of the judgment of other people, like whether it's our like family or our partners or whatever it is, we just end up in this position of like, oh, um, you know, I can't say anything. I can't do anything. But then we also enter society now where we've had this point of like opinions where everyone else's opinions matter. Listen, if someone's on the internet giving you their opinion, they're not in your life. And I, this is my famous joke with T. I'm like, are they paying your mortgage? I'm like, are they paying your bills? They ain't paying your bills, girl. Yeah, <laughs> like, they ain't you paying your bills. I was like, what's their opinion matter? And I'm like, this, in, in, it's a running joke in our family household. But the reason why I say this is because... I appreciate people have their opinions and have their views. And I'm and, and I'm going to say this, you know, on camera, on confidence, on YouTube, and on our podcast, on Apple, on on all the different channels that we're going on. I'm going to say this, like 
you are entitled to your opinion, but you are not entitled to your facts. Mm. You can have an opinion. And if you have an opinion that's opposing my opinion, do you know what? Incredible. Because you know what? That's such a lovely place to be. There is nothing negative with a person having an opposing opinion. What it means is that the person's got an opposing opinion and you shouldn't meet in the middle to discuss it. But you know what? If the, how they live their life or how they have their Verstehen is the terminology for it, how they see life, is that person's choice? If, imagine if every single person thought and, and felt the same way. We'd have no uniqueness or no difference about this. And I think that's such a... That's such a beautiful place to be. The fact that we have like things like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, to be able to share our opinions and vocalise them and be able to be like, you know what, this is my opinion and find other people who may match your opinion or find people who are against your opinion. That's such a beautiful society to be. Don't be against it. it you know what? It's, it should, we need to be thinking about this as an exciting thing. Like... We should see people with, you know, from different backgrounds and different opinions and, you know, different perspectives as this exciting opportunity to learn and grow. We need to move away from this idea that it's shameful to um, be different or have a different opinion or um, make a mistake. That's that should be part of the human experience that we embrace and is exciting. I love when we have like discussions and we're coming from different sides because often we'll just talk and talk and talk and talk and we usually both learn so much on that journey to kind of meeting in the middle and being like, oh, you know what? I can see where you're coming from. And imagine if we had just shut each other down, we never would have had that opportunity. You'd totally miss that opportunity to learn and grow. But I think that and that's where people, that's where arguments come from. That's where people end up arguing yeah. because someone stood by a factual, their facts or what their opinion is. And it's not even their facts, what their opinion is. And they've basically established their opinion as a fact. When you start making your opinion a fact, that's a dangerous place to be.